In a world driven by speed, noise, and relentless innovation, there exists a camera that dares to slow things down and elevate photography to an art form. This is not a camera for the masses. It's not a camera you casually toss in your backpack for a hike. No, the Hasselblad X3D 150C is something different. It's bold, it's unapologetically premium, and it's easily one of the most fascinating pieces of imaging technology ever released. In this full review, we're diving deep, and I mean deep, into every single detail of the Hasselblad X3D 150C, from its massive 150 megapixel sensor and iconic color science to its real-world performance, studio workflow, and yes, its eye-watering price tag. So grab a drink, settle in, and let's explore why this $9,000 plus dollar machine might just be the holy grail of medium format photography. Hasselblad doesn't just craft cameras, they create objects of desire, and the X3D 150C exemplifies this philosophy perfectly. At first touch, the camera feels less like a conventional tool and more like a luxury timepiece or a piece of finely machined art. The body is meticulously machined from a single block of aluminum alloy, giving it a robust yet elegant presence. This unibody construction provides a reassuring heft, not overly heavy, but substantial enough to communicate precision engineering in your hands. The balance is flawless, allowing for comfortable handling over long shoots without fatigue. The eye grip on the X3D 150C has been thoughtfully refined since its predecessor, the X2D 100C. It's subtly deeper, offering a more secure and confident hold, especially important when shooting in challenging conditions. Hasselblad has added a delicate texture to the grip area, increasing friction just enough to enhance grip security without detracting from the camera's sleek Scandinavian minimalism. Every curve and contour has been purposefully designed, resulting in a clean, fluid silhouette with no unnecessary buttons, protrusions, or clutter. This is not merely industrial design, it is industrial art. Interacting with the camera is a tactile delight. The shutter button delivers that signature Hasselblad dampened response, offering just the right amount of resistance for precise control. The dials are perfectly weighted, neither too loose nor too stiff, inviting you to adjust settings confidently without fumbling. Even the menu button placement feels carefully considered, allowing seamless navigation without breaking your shooting. Flow. Every control has been refined to enhance the user experience. The top old D display is another highlight. Seamlessly integrated into the top plate, it echoes the design ethos found in luxury automotive dashboards or premium wristwatches. This display provides essential shooting information without any distracting visual noise, maintaining the camera's elegant simplicity. Finally, the battery system is a standout feature. Moving away from traditional door and latch designs, Hasselblad implements a magnetic pull and click mechanism that feels surprisingly satisfying. The battery slides out with a gentle tug and clicks securely back into place with a luxurious snap. In essence, if Apple and Leica had a Swedish baby, it would be the Hasselblad X3D 150C, a harmonious blend of precision engineering, thoughtful design, and pure tactile pleasure. Now let's get into what makes the X3D 150C truly special, the sensor. At the heart of this camera is a 150 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor co-developed with Sony. Measuring 44 by 33 mm, it's not a full 645 format, but it still delivers 70% more surface area than a traditional full frame sensor. That increase in real estate directly impacts depth of field, noise performance, and color rendition. The detail it captures is almost otherworldly. When you zoom in on a 150 megapixel image, you're not just looking at resolution, you're looking at nuance. You see the fibers in clothing, the pores in skin, the way light softly wraps around textures. It's like lifting a veil and seeing a more honest version of reality. And yet, it never feels clinical. There's a warmth and dimensionality that elevates it beyond numbers. Each raw file is 16-bit, offering a staggering 281 trillion possible colors. The tonal transitions are impossibly smooth. Shadows melt into mid-tones. Highlights roll off gently. Skin looks human. Water looks fluid. Landscapes feel alive. There's this balance between technical precision and artistic rendering that makes every image feel almost cinematic. The dynamic range is rated at 15 stops, and in testing, it delivers. You can underexpose by several stops and still pull back detail without introducing harsh artifacts. Overexpose slightly, and the highlights retain structure. At base ISO 64, the files are nearly noise-free. 
You can push to ISO 800 or even 1600 and still get commercially usable results. The sensor also contributes to the 3D pop that medium format shooters rave about. It's not just about shallow depth of field, it's about how the foreground and background separate naturally, almost like your eyes would perceive them in real life. That subtlety is hard to quantify, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. This isn't a sensor designed for specs. It's designed for image makers who want the absolute best. And in this regard, it delivers something that no full frame or APS-C system can replicate. When we talk about color in photography, we're talking about emotion. Color isn't just a technical attribute. It's the mood, the feeling, the intangible connection that draws a viewer in. This is exactly where Hasselblad has built its lasting legacy. Their HNCS, Hasselblad Natural Color Solution, is far more than just a catchy marketing phrase. It represents a comprehensive philosophy and approach to how color should be captured, interpreted, and rendered in every image. Unlike many camera systems that often favor punchy, oversaturated, or contrast-heavy looks straight out of the camera, Hasselblad aims for something quite different, neutrality. But it's important to understand that neutrality here is not the same as blandness or flatness. It's a carefully balanced neutrality that preserves the true essence of the scene. Skin tones, for example, come through warm and natural, never orange or artificially enhanced. Reds are deep and rich, yet never cross into unnatural magenta territory. Blues have a richness and depth that avoids shifting into cyan hues, which can sometimes feel synthetic. This subtle mastery means the files you get from the Hasselblad X3D 150C already feel like they've been treated with a delicate cinematic LUT, gently harmonizing the entire color palette. There's an innate coherence in these colors, a natural palette that just feels inherently right to the eye. Yet this refinement doesn't limit your creative freedom. The files remain fully flexible in post-production, allowing photographers to push or pull colors as they see fit. But because the baseline is so well calibrated, you often find yourself doing less work in editing. That translates into valuable time saved in post-processing and more time spent on actual creativity and shooting. Perhaps one of the most remarkable feats of Hasselblad's color science is its consistency across wildly different lighting environments. Whether you're shooting in the golden hour's warm sun, the cool glow of tungsten interiors, or complex mixed strobe setups, the color tonality holds firm. This goes beyond simple white balance accuracy. It's about preserving the integrity of color relationships within the scene, maintaining the emotional resonance. Hasselblad's approach to color is one of subtlety and elegance. It doesn't shout with vibrancy or gimmicks. Instead, it whispers a refined restraint, respecting the subject and the moment. With the X3D 150C, this tradition reaches new heights, making it a favorite among portrait, fashion, and fine art photographers. Because for Hasselblad, it's never just about capturing an image. It's about capturing feeling. And in this realm, Hasselblad continues to wear the crown. Let's talk about speed and usability, two areas where medium format cameras have historically struggled. Thankfully, the X3D 150C changes the game here in a meaningful way. Hasselblad has introduced a completely overhauled phase detect autofocus system with over 300 selectable points. Face and eye detection are now available and they work. In studio setups, focus is snappy and highly accurate. For portraiture, it locks onto eyes quickly and holds focus even if your subject shifts subtly. Outdoors, in real world lighting, it's decent. Not blazing fast like a Sony A1 or Canon R5, but worlds better than the X1D and noticeably ahead of the X2D. Tracking moving subjects is no longer a chore, although it's not ideal for sports or fast action. Still, for 95% of controlled scenarios, the AF system performs reliably. IBIS is another major win. The X3D features five axis in-body image stabilization rated up to seven stops. And yes, it works. You can handhold this camera at 1 person 15th of a second and still get tack sharp results. That kind of stability opens up possibilities in low light and makes the camera far more flexible. The touchscreen interface is responsive, bright, and genuinely useful. It's a 3.6 inch tilting panel with 2.36 million dots, large enough for critical review and bright enough for outdoor use. The menus are streamlined and intuitive. You won't spend time digging through pages of options. It's all clean, minimal and customizable. Battery life is solid too. One charge easily gets you through a full day of studio work or a long afternoon in the field. And because the system is SSD based, you're not constantly swapping cards. Everything feels seamless and thought through. 
In short, the X3D finally brings modern usability to medium format without compromising the heritage that makes Hasselblad what it is. Now let's address the elephant in the room, video. Hasselblad has never been known as a video powerhouse, and the X3D 150C certainly doesn't try to pretend otherwise. However, that doesn't mean it falls short when it comes to delivering. Quality video performance. The X3D offers an impressive 4K 12-bit raw video recording internally at up to 30 frames per second. What's especially noteworthy is that this comes without any crop, allowing you to utilize the full sensor area. The image quality is, quite frankly, stunning. Colors are rich, vibrant, and possess that unmistakable Hasselblad look even when the subject is in motion. The level of detail is immense, making footage look incredibly sharp and natural. That said, there are some limitations to be aware of. Unlike many dedicated video cameras, the X3D does not offer a log profile, which many videographers rely on for maximum dynamic range and flexible color grading. Additionally, there is no internal ProRes recording, nor does it support 10-bit H tuned in 655 codecs, which are becoming more standard in professional video workflows. Rolling shutter is also noticeable during quick pans or fast movements, which can be a distraction if you're aiming for perfectly smooth footage. Autofocus performance while shooting video is more conservative compared to some hybrid or dedicated cinema cameras, meaning it may not track subjects as aggressively or smoothly in complex shooting scenarios. The best way to think of video on the X3D 150C is as a bonus feature, a cherry on top of its exceptional still photography capabilities. It's ideally suited for capturing behind-the-scenes clips, short studio segments, or documentary style. Inserts where the cinematic quality of Hasselblad's color science can shine. However, if your primary focus is long-form narrative, commercial video, or any production demanding professional-grade video features, you'll likely want to invest in a dedicated cinema camera. Still, the inclusion of real, usable video tools in the X3D 150C signals Hasselblad's recognition of the hybrid demands modern creators face today. While it won't replace your RED, FX6, or other high-end cinema rigs, it will surprise you with just how cinematic and beautiful its footage can look, especially when paired with that incredible Hasselblad color science. That's it for today's video, guys. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos.